A Roman force has stood on the left bank of the river Conui at Cairhin since around 75 AD. Canovium housed an auxiliary unit of the Roman army, probably a cohort, equivalent to 500 men. A stone fort eventually replaced the original earth and timber structure, though this would have happened over a period of many years. By the time the fort was abandoned sometime during the 4th century AD, it would have undergone many changes. This is how it probably looked in its heyday, around 140 AD. Canovium is 140 metres square and could comfortably accommodate two football pitches. Surrounded by ramparts, topped with curtain walls and encircled by a deep ditch, it was well prepared to handle hostile action. A gate midway along each rampart provided access to the fort. All four entry points were protected, in the case of the east gate, by twin guard towers, while towers at each corner provided additional security. Located at the heart of Canovium is the Principia. This is the fort's headquarters, consisting of three ranges of rooms arranged around a central courtyard. In addition to its military function, the Principia was the center of the fort's religious life. The chapel, or Sacellum, housed the cohort's ensigns, and so was the most important part of the fort. Beneath it, in the Aedes, the cohort's pay and booty were kept. South of the Principia, along the Via Principalis, is the Praetorium, where the commanding officer and his family lived. It's a courtyard house featuring a private latrine, bath suite and probably gardens and stables. This extensive and luxurious accommodation would rival many of those to be found elsewhere in the empire. Unlike their commanding officer, the regular soldiers shared much more basic accommodation in one of the several barrack blocks to be found at Canovium. Each block housed 80 men along with their centurion, staff and slaves. The centurion benefited from a separate suite of rooms at one end of the barracks. With so many mouths to feed, the fort needed somewhere to store food. This is the horrea, or granary, though it would have contained other produce in addition to grain, which would have been stored in bins or sacks on raised wooden floors to keep it dry. The horrea has far more space around it than any of the other buildings to allow the large carts access. It's also located close to the northern gate, the most direct access to the docks. Along the road leading from Canovium's northern gate is a civilian settlement known as Avicus. It developed in response to the needs of the garrison and was most likely made up of industrial workshops, official buildings, private residences and places of entertainment.